Hello and welcome to the German Spearfishing Channel. This is the last video of our teak carbon gun. I've waited too long, so now the rest of the part. I do um, the grip with uh, silicon. I have a new new rail line because um, the idea with two different lines and a knot was not the best. And we do some final coating stuff. First of all, I've burned the end and put it in the reel. So, first of all, um, where I want to do the coating, I just rasp it a bit so it will better at that place. So now some duct tape for the borders. So let's start. Um, <clears throat> first, the Sika Flex. You can buy it on Amazon. Something like this. So, no hole. This black. First, put some stuff on there. It's enough for the start. And then take it with the finger and smear it. And now start to tickle with the finger so you can see this typically coat. And I do the end. So again push some stuff out, this is enough so 24 hours later everything is dry enough that I can remove um, the duct tape first I cut the lines so I won't rip off the silicon. So here you can see look one straight line and a big one. Very nice. So now let's see the magical moment. Will it float or will it sink? Just throw it. In. Okay, it will definitely need some additional, some additional 
wait. So I added a little bit more so because this is sweet water and the spear gun floats up more in the salt water. So now I've got the exactly amount that I have to add um, so the spear gun will sink. So it is 103 grams at the back and 335 at the front. This is so much so I have to put a lot of lead in there. So here you can see my lead that I'm gonna use. This is for the back, 130. And for the front, 300. Together, 430, exactly that amount that I needed. So after one hour of implanting lead to the spear gun, here's the result. Goodbye. Nice. And without the arrow. Without the arrow it floats perfectly. So, nice. These are the places where I inserted the lead. Here around 300 grams. And in the handle there are 120 so what I have to do now is let it dry so no water is in there and get an epoxy layer above it um, what I'm gonna do else is some carbon above it so it will help better so now this is the very last step what are we gonna do I've got these two carbon carbon fiber they're gonna put here over over the lat First of all, I sand it down a bit, so it's one even area, and the carbon will hold much better. Second side, now clean it up. Okay, now the epoxy is mixed up and I use this sponge to put it exactly over the Okay, I'm gonna keep on with my fingers gonna work as well so first of all get some epoxy in all the small leashes okay so now let it dry again for 25 hours 24 hours and then the gun is completely finished. The next video is going to be out of the water and not from land. When you like the video, follow up and comment. Feel free to like. Thank you, like every time. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye.